So I'm going to go through this uh, again. This is a little device I picked up off the internet. You can get it for eBay anywhere from two bucks up to just under ten bucks. Uh, I think they're modules out of a stun gun or some kind of high high voltage device. Uh, basically, it takes your lower voltage DC in. Um, this one here, they say it goes from 6 volts all the way up to 12 volts. And then it gives you a high current output. Um, or not a high current, sorry, a high voltage output. Uh, it's supposed to be thousands, thousands of volts. So I thought I'd do some playing around. Um, got a little battery that I've been using. It is a 9.6 volt, 2000 milliamp hour nickel metal hydride. Um, and I just have it hooked up. You have to watch this wiring here. The uh, the green on this one is actually the negative, and the red is obviously the positive. If you hook them up backwards, you're going to burn the thing out because there's not much to them. So, what uh, what we'll do here? I kind of hook this uh, little switch in here to make it easier. Turn on and off, and I want to see how I can get the uh, the high voltage. See how far across I can get it to jump. Now there is some calculations to say um, how many millimeters, how high the voltage is will tell you how many millimeters it should jump. Uh, but what we're going to do here is just turn it on, see what happens. Now, usually it's not going to start and jump across there. I usually have to start it. You can see this draws a... draw the arc. There we go. Let's see how far out I can get it to go. It's probably as far as it'll go. But you can see how uh, see how it's jumping across there. So yeah, it's it's right at the distance. Uh, that's probably as far far apart as I can go with this. You see, as any little breeze comes, it blows the uh, Close the arc off of there. But it's close enough so it'll jump back again. You know, close I can get in there with it. Now one of the things I have to really watch on this is to uh, make sure it doesn't get too hot. And they're just starting to get heat, heat up a little bit there. It's still not too bad. You may not be able to hear it, but it is crackling. So they're kind of kind of a neat little device if you want to start playing around with a little bit of high voltage. Let's try these. Usually can draw a better arc with this. So you jump into the pliers. See if I can get a. Ooh. Ouch! Yeah. So uh, yeah, you can draw a nice little, nice little spark off of there. There we go. It gives you a little, little tingle when you touch the end of that thing. Um, not too too bad. But it is pretty. Let me see what if we can do some. I've also seen people go use the um, the arcing cigarette lighters or cigar lighters, and they probably have they basically have the same thing inside of it. Low voltage in, they've got a high voltage out, which you can see you can you can start a cigar or a cigarette with this thing. 
because it is pretty hot. So I thought a little, thought I'd give a little demo there of uh, playing around a little bit of high voltage. One of these times I'm gonna see if I can actually get a better, if I can pull better arcs off of this. May have to build a bigger device just to jack the, vol the voltage up higher. Get a good Jacob's ladder going. There you go, for a couple bucks though, you can get started playing around with some high voltage. Let's see how far I can draw the arc. Starts to fall apart after a bit. It's not bad. For what it is, it's pretty cheap and uh, does kick out a little bit of high voltage. You see when it's starting to fall apart there when I'm getting too far away. See it starts vibrating back and forth and lose this connection. See it getting wider. Miniature lightning. Check how hot this is getting as well. Oh yeah. Getting a little too hot. I think it's time to let it cool down. So Let's see what else I can do with this, and if I can come up with any other any other projects, or see what else we'll uh, we'll be able to make with this little thing. Thanks for watching.